my hope, my prayer for this conference, that every one of us will leave this place knowing that you have a personal relationship with the greatest model of love in the history of this universe, Jesus Christ. a confession to you. Uh, <laughs> ah. I haven't taken a confession from the Cardinal before. <laughs> How do I prepare for that? But, but I authorize you to absolve me. <laughs> <laughs> I absolve no, no. you. <laughs> People who have suffered know how to smile. Mm. No, this yeah. is not confession anymore. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Uh, may, may, may I wipe mine? <laughs> yes, I would like to wipe mine too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, could, I could laugh at my own mistakes. I could, I could take things seriously. I take Jesus seriously, but take myself and other things lightly. Mm. It is mm. a profession of faith for mm. me. Mm. They're all funny for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, you're amazing. I've completely forgot to say what I was meant to say, which is that when I was 19, as an, a little atheist, all I could see when I painted this building was this, exactly this that I could see hundreds of people, and I'd never seen people worship before, but this, this is what I saw. And it, it's very odd and very beautiful to see it come to fruition. And thank you very much. I was a drug addict, I was a womanizer, I was all those sorts of things that you didn't want to be. And, and God's grace is amazing. And that curse that was over my family has been broken. There is one who has handpicked you, sovereignly adopting you into his family. He just wants you to know that even if you've dug a pit for yourself, that is so deep that you wonder if you ever will be able to get out of that pit. He wants you to know that you serve a God whose mercy is so great and so grand that there is no pit that his arm is not long enough to reach down in and snatch you up out of. Is anybody grateful for that? Unparalleled success as a writer, actor, and film star, she ought to run for prime minister. Would you give a very warm welcome to Miranda? My key manifesto would, uh, for adults, to reclaim galloping from toddlers. <laughs> that would be the top priority. A friend of mine has said they will give me a thousand pounds for my charity if I get Nicky Gumbel to gallop. <laughs> just wait, just wait, just wait. Okay, I'll get on my horse. And then Gallup ran the stage for a thousand pounds. I am so sorry, but I'm a leader now. You must follow me. <laughs> Nicky Gumbel galloping. I, I really should hang out with Miranda more. Uh, you know, there's an entire section in the bookshop called self help, and there's no section in the bookshop called help others. Mm -hmm. Mm. And that's a problem, mm. Mm. right? Mm. And I, for one, would like to pioneer the industry of helping others. The yearning for Jesus is a relationship of love. Jesus is an incredible person, incredible. What is incredible 
It's his humility. He doesn't impose. He welcomes. I liked the Alpha course because it didn't feel like there was any pressure. I didn't feel like it was a course to graduate from and then graduation is you get the job, you go to church. And the people were so nice mm. and they cared and without trying, they fulfilled that thing that was missing by telling me about God. I don't know what's gonna happen when I get back to Lakewood, but whoever I was when I left is not the man that's returning because God has done something in my spirit and I see Jesus in a different way than I saw him before I got here. And I said, if you don't invite me back, I'm still coming just to be here. Your identity is not your job. It's not your title. It's not your position. Define yourself as someone who is radically loved by God. Yeah.